One of the most basic questions many people have about Islam is, what is a mosque and what happens there? A mosque is a place of worship for Muslims. Although the primary purpose of the mosque is to serve as a place of prayer, it is also important to the Muslim community as a place to meet and study and as a center for charity and community service. The truth is that if you pay close attention to the architecture of a mosque, if you really look at the way it is put together, the structure itself can give you a good basic introduction to the Islamic faith. Islam is the second most practiced religion in the world, with nearly two billion followers. So with that range and diversity, you'd expect great variety in the way that mosques around the world look. Some are modest, some are converted from churches or even old storefronts. But today we're going to focus primarily on the details of the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque is located in Abu Dhabi and is the largest mosque in the United Arab Emirates. It is one of the largest mosques in the world, in fact. It holds up to 40,000 worshipers, has four massive minarets, each 106 meters tall, with designs incorporating elements from major periods in Islamic history. Mosques typically feature at least one dome, a traditional but purely decorative Islamic symbol. This mosque features 82, each inscribed with verses from the Quran. Most mosques feature at least one minaret, in addition to providing a visual cue to a Muslim community, answering the basic question, where is the mosque, with a tall tower usually visible from blocks away, the main function is to provide a vantage point from which the call to prayer, or adhan, is made. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. The call to prayer is issued five times each day, dawn, noon, mid-afternoon, sunset, and night. Mosques, like most places of worship, have clearly defined rules for proper behavior. Based on the sign at the Grand Mosque, can you tell what behaviors are not acceptable in a mosque? The, the religious art in mosques is typically comprised of abstract or geometric mosaics. Depicting the human form in religious art is considered shirk the sin of practicing idolatry or polytheism. There are five pillars in Islam, five basic practices that define what it means to be a Muslim. The second pillar of Islam is called Salat. This is a ritual prayer which must be performed five times a day. Salat is intended to focus the mind on God and is seen as a personal communication with him that expresses gratitude and worship. Salat is mandatory, not optional, but flexibility in the specifics is allowed depending on circumstances. The Salat is announced five times daily, pre-dawn, midday, afternoon, sunset, and night. Watch Muslims from all walks of life, men in suits, in the clothes of a laborer, in traditional Arabic clothing, all come together as the call to prayer is issued forth from the minaret above. Men and women typically pray separately, or at least with the men in the front of the room. The basic idea is that women bowing in front of men might be a distraction from the holy thoughts that men should be focusing on. Before conducting Salat, a Muslim has to perform a ritual ablution. This is wudu performed by Muslims according to the instructions of God given in the Quran. Wudu is performed by washing the hands, mouth, nose, arms, face, hair, ears, and feet three times each in that order. Men must also wash their beards and mustache when washing the face. Prayers are done with the chest in the direction of Kaaba in the city of Mecca in modern Saudi Arabia. If a Muslim can't make it to the mosque, Prayers may be done wherever he or she happens to be. For example, here's an ablution station in a school in Bahrain, so students can prepare for prayer during the school day. Here, an arrow on the ceiling of a hotel room in Dubai helps Muslims direct their Salat prayers toward Mecca. The mirab is a niche or place in a mosque from where the imam leads worshipers in prayer. It always faces in the direction of the Kaaba. The mirab in the Grand Mosque is golden with a curved design inspired by the shape of the rivers of milk and honey described in paradise. 
and is topped with a beehive representing the source of the honey. The prayers are recited in the Arabic language and consist of verses from the Quran. It is a physical, mental, and spiritual act of worship. The worshiper starts in the standing position, bows, prostrates, and concludes while sitting on the ground. During each posture, the worshiper recites or reads certain verses, phrases, and prayers. You can find English text of this prayer, and a whole lot more, at openendedsocialstudies.org. There you can read more about the life of Muhammad, the founder and prophet of Islam. You can read about the five pillars and find all kinds of lesson ideas for bringing Islamic religion and culture to life in your classroom. I'm David Allen, and I thank you for being with me today. If you've enjoyed this video, please visit openendedsocialstudies.org for free articles and lessons on Islam, the Aztec, the Inca, on China, Cambodia, Korea, the list goes on and on and it's always growing. <laughs>